Hey, welcome to this new series, Silence of the Sleep. Now, I don't quite know how I went to know this game. I think it might have been in some recommendation thread on, on 4chan or something, which also talked about the Cat Lady and Downfall. And since it has a similar art style, um, maybe you could say a similar gameplay style, I thought, why not try that out? Especially since it was 90% off when I bought it. By the time this video goes out, it probably won't be, but if if they ever do another special like that again, buy it. Because a game for one euro? Jesus Christ, that's cheap as fuck. Especially if you get a few hours out of it. Let's just start a new game and see where the story takes us. Dot dot dot. Press E. Oh, that's weird. So, it ends like this. I also talk very slowly. Please forgive me. Don't jump. Oh no, what is it with my protagonists and always committing suicide? Don't. Is it better if you jump backwards? Because you don't see what's coming? Or do you want to fall forwards? You know, to pass out bef before you hit the ground. A game by Jesse McKinnon. Oh, McConan? The music seems pretty good so far. I like that in my games. After I hit the blackness. Do you want me to press E again? No. I still felt alive. Prologue. The blackness. Oh man, I like this game so far. It has a really nice atmosphere to it. So is that me on the bed again? Uh, was this even the protagonist of the game or was this someone else? My head. Huh? Where am I? Oh man, okay, this feels kind of weird. I don't know what it is. It should be the same as the usual adventure game engine games. Where you're just walking around in 2D, but... This feels strange. Do I have a mouse? Oh, okay, the mouse controls my head, it seems. Um. Okay, I can use the door with E. I can see char charcoal clouds bathing in moonlight. That's pretty poetic, man. Dot dot dot. Um, it's locked, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Every game I play has to have some locked doors, doesn't it? Hello, is anyone there? He just screamed. Walking through the corridors, come on. It's locked again, okay. Press and hold shift, oh yes, that's nice. Let's try this door, it's locked as well. This one isn't locked. Which number was this, 21? It won't budge. Locked, jammed, won't budge. Power seems to be off. It's locked. So what do we know about our protagonist so far? He tried to kill himself because he couldn't live with... with something. We don't know what he couldn't live with. If, if he was guilty of something, if he maybe lost someone dear to him, or, or I don't know. Can be several reasons for suicide. Saving. Silence of the Sleep does not auto save your progress. You can save your progress by visiting gramophones. And suddenly I have a mouse again. Rooms 16 to 20 are locked. Hey, is there anyone here? Doesn't seem like it. I also can't. 
can't use this door or do I have to stand smacked up in the middle of it or is this an elevator maybe okay what the fuck is going on now oh my god <laughs> this just scared me I'm sorry <laughs> bar mac mac on or, or bar moon maybe I'm sorry mac on <laughs> Good evening, sir. Uh, would you like to have something to drink? Um, yeah, I could use a drink. Nothing like a glass of local whiskey. Oh, you're right about that. Tasty. Mmm, delicious. Sorry, what is this place? You are in Moonlight Motel, sir. Not everyone gets to stay here. Moonlight Motel? But I... I understand your confusion, sir. One is not expected to rise after such a fall. Don't worry, you are not here without a purpose, sir. I don't understand, I remember hitting the blackness. Who are you? They call me many names, but my name is not important, sir. Oh my god, I'm getting hatred flashbacks. <laughs> How did you end up in here? I was born in this magnificent motel, sir. Can we just take a second to appreciate the really good music? It seems this motel has been around for some time already, sorry. No offense taken, sir. Indeed, I have been around for quite a long time. Are there any other visitors beside me? Yes, a man came by here only a few minutes before you. But I am here for you and you alone. So what now? You should take this a second chance, sir. No one visits our motel without a reason. You must find a reason, sir. It's all that matters. Reason? All I can remember is falling and hitting the blackness. I don't know if I want to learn the reason. It can't be pretty. It's never pretty for people who visit us, sir. I'm afraid I hold no more answers, sir. The rest is for you to find out. Oh, before I forget. Take this flashlight to get your journey started, sir. Good luck on your travels, sir. Hey, wait! Press F to toggle flashlight on and off. You can move the flashlight with your mouse. Does the flashlight have batteries or something? No? Okay, um, the nice music stopped. It seems our protagonist can't remember why he killed himself or why he en uh, ended up here but at the same time i think hitting the blackness is a kind of weird expression oh there's a gramophone right here i don't know why i didn't see it earlier okay it's saved are any of the rooms unlocked now oh oh well what the hell is this place <laughs> Yes, yeah, exactly what I was thinking, thank you. I don't know what it is, but horror games are only good if there's good sound design in there, I think. It's locked. So little things like this skittering or something. Oh, it's me walking across the floor and it sounds really disgusting. Oh, this makes my... Ooh, this gives me goosebumps. Jeez. It's locked. Is someone there? Oh shit, don't come any closer. Okay, okay, just calm down. Who are you? Where am I? I was just about to ask the same. I have no idea how I got in here. I can't remember. You... Nita? No, please stay back. How do I know you ain't playing tricks on me? You don't, but the same goes the other way around. What the hell is going on? I... Am I dead? You would not believe the shit I've seen. Here's a really big shadow. There was a man standing in the darkness, and the voices in my head. The crying. It won't stop. Would you please calm down? I think I know what you are going through. I have no idea where I am, or why. I woke up in this motel. A motel? But this is a casino! Dot dot dot. Shit. How did you get in here? <laughs> dot dot dot. I can't remember. I... 
depression, a loud bang. Shit, I don't know. I have a gun. Please, go to that room and I'm off. Okay, I'll just leave. I, oh shit. Okay, I trust in you with this one. Thanks, it's for the best. So we just leave him alone? I go now. I don't know who you are, but good luck. Man, I hope we don't see him again because this voice is awkward as fuck. There's a button over here. There's a button, press it. Um, yeah, come on. Um, was this a good or a bad thing? Can I use, use this now or something? It's a cradle. There's something in it. It's the key to room 22. Inventory. To use inventory, press and hold space. While holding space, left click the gray arrow with your mouse to toggle between the items. Release space in the item currently selected becomes the active item. Okay, so I currently have the key active. Room 22. Oh, we're outside all the way. Let's save again. Okay, it's kind of awkward to, that you need to turn around every time, but I guess I can get used to that. Room 22, which should be the one after that. Yeah, there it is. I unlocked the door. Good job, nameless protagonist. There's a letter. I'm so excited. Did it finally happen? I did the test and it came back positive. That's all there is. Man, this could mean quite a few different things, can it? Um, is there nothing else to this? Maybe I can get over here. No? Okay, that's awkward. Anything else in here? No? Just a letter. So... Why would we need to get in here then? Is there a door here? No? I don't know, maybe it triggered something. Yep, it's locked. Of course. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. It's some kind of weird box. Well, what's in the box? Okay, we won't be able to brute force this, will we? So, I need a number code. Let's look at the letter again. There were no numbers in here. So, uh, where would I get that? Let's check the other rooms again. This would probably be less straightforward than Downfall and Cat Lady. Because it seems more open with its puzzles. Maybe the clock? It looks like a clock. It's spinning endlessly. No. But I'm really quite enjoying it so far. I had planned on playing um, Chronicle of Innsmouth, I think it's called. But they're planning an update for late September or something with voice acting and maybe they'll improve the game and other aspects as well, so I thought why not play something else until then? But yeah, you can look forward to that as well. It's it's a real point and click game. Oh come on, turn that off again. It's a real point and click game. Like the old LucasArts ones. And it's also about five to six hours long or something. So that's one of the upcoming games. What else can I tell you where we just walk around? WC key. Um, yep. Yeah. I don't even know, or I didn't know they were called that in English speaking countries. I thought they were just called toilets. It does not fit here. So it's. Where was another one? 
Huh. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the upcoming games. Um, some of you will probably know Vampire the Masquerade, but mostly Bloodlines. I'm planning on playing Redemption, which is the first game, which is kind of like an RPG more than the second one. Huh? What is that sound? Whatever it is, it's approaching a better height. Oh my god. It's locked. It's stuck. Maybe I could ram it open? Faster. Oh my god. A few more times. Oh my... Yeah, as if he doesn't hear that. There, it's open now. Okay, hide in there. Wow. I'm enjoying this gameplay. This reminds me of detention. Holy shit, what is this thing? Oh god, the... The cracking noises. Oh. Please don't find me. Is it gone? Oh, the heavy breathing as well. Shit. I think it's gone. So I just kicked the door open or what? This one is still locked. This one is also still locked. Is there somewhere something in the toilet I need to take with me? A weird VHS tape. Oh man, as much as I love gameplay like this, um, I'm not really a fan of it in games like this. I hope it stays novel enough and it doesn't become like... I don't know, I, I didn't enjoy Amnesia because at one point you you just had to run and hide and while I appreciated the monsters I didn't think that made it a good game somehow I don't know it felt detrimental to the gameplay somehow also observer Jesus Christ if you saw me play that you must have noticed that I was pretty pissed off at the hiding elements in observer so yeah Let's just hope this game does it better. I inserted the VHS tape. Um, red 7, blue 1, green 6. 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 Got it. Okay, I'm sorry I had to repeat that over and over, but I'm really bad with these things. There's a button inside, press it. Why not? Sounds like the elevator is working again. The elevator was down here, right? Um, thank you, Light, <laughs> for showing me the way. Let's save again, because why the hell not? I don't think any game has the mechanic anymore where you have to save under a different... or less than a different amount. A different? Less than a certain amount. Sorry, I'm... I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> less than a certain amount for you to get a good end or something. I don't think games do that anymore these days. Oh no, oh shit! Come on. Damn elevator, come on. Yes. Um Let's turn off the flashlight. Come on. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, okay. 
Okay, this was this was probably kind of scripted, but it still felt like I could fuck it up somehow. <laughs> I think I made it. Uh, yeah, you must have. Chapter 1, The Journey Down. So the prologue is over already. I wonder how many chapters there are. Also, a common theme with... I think the cat lady had the elevator scene, right? Where she went under the sea and it crushed her. Dot dot dot. What the hell was that? I don't understand. Where the hell am I? And that man speaking riddles. He just vanished before my eyes. I must be dreaming. None of this is happening. But what if I'm not? And what was the reason he was talking about? I... can't remember anything. Something must have happened before all this. I don't think I have choice but to play along. Though the road ain't pretty, I must prepare myself. I cannot know what awaits me. Huh? Is that... Music? The hell is going on? Oh, I can hear those as well now. I like the little animation whenever he holds up his flashlight to turn it on. Okay, I think this is where I jump off. Oh man, this sudden change between creepy horror and... Uh, 1920s hotel? <laughs> is it even 1920s or is it 1950s? I don't know. What the hell is this place? I think I could turn off my flashlight in here. Um... Hello? Can I talk to any of you? Maybe appreciate the music or something? Alright, who is this now? Huh? Is that... the bartender? Who is that guy? Is it the bartender? He kinda looks like him. Okay, there's someone that looks different. Let's talk to him. Hello. Oh, it's a girl. It's a woman. Um, woman voice. Good evening. Sorry, can I get past to that room? Absolutely not. I can't let anyone in. Why? What's inside? Well, it is. Um, I guess I could tell you. There's something valuable in that room. But I forgot something inside. Good try. Sorry. So I need to get rid of her. In a in a good way. Uh, not that I'm planning to kill her or something. Well, I don't know what I'm planning. I don't know my protagonist well enough. I also hope my, <laughs> my woman voice didn't trigger you or something. Okay, this turns the light on and off. Just junk, nothing of use. What about this picture? It's a painting. I don't think I need it, but it looks really cool in my opinion. Hey. Hmm. Ahem. Was it? Seven? No. Oh, sorry, pal. I was so deep in my thoughts. Huh, you lost something? Sort of, yeah. I can't remember the code for that safe. Ah, that happens. Yeah, but it has been four days already. I really, really need to get it open. You have spent four days with it? Yes. There's something really valuable for me inside. Can I help somehow? Yes, yes! I hid the code somewhere in here. But I just can't remember where. Okay, I'll start looking. Damn, how did I forget that code? Um, somewhere in here, right? There are seven birds in this picture. Oh, look at this six. Another six? It's funny, you only see it when you shine it. Shine on it with your flashlight. Anything else? So it's 667 six, or... Is it 696? Six, six? Let's try 696 six because it looks like a 9 as well, doesn't it? You got it open? Yeah, 
Finally, I can see a picture of my family. That is all I have. Yeah, take this. Maybe you can charm someone special like I once did. No problem, and thank you. Oh yeah, the code is 696. Yeah, have to write it up. Thanks, pal. Is it really his safe? Hey, have you charmed someone yet? No, it's not on the top of my priority list. <laughs> In that case, you have not been here long enough. I think I have. Anyway, may I ask you something? Sure. How did you end up in here? Ah uh, yes, that's the question. I don't think any of us can remember our fate. You can count me in. That's what I guessed. But me? I can remember grieving. A loss of something dear. Wow, just like I said earlier. I don't know. It all turned to black. Next time I saw light was when I opened my eyes and woke up in this odd motel. Huh, I'm sorry. What are you gonna do, you know? Just gotta live with it. Yeah. Well, I'm off now. Take care. Hmm. Okay, so this is something like purgatory for people that killed themselves. I also think that I need to use the rose on the woman. But I want to explore first. There has to be some more in here. Oh, so do I have to deselect the rose for me to talk with him? Hello, Mr. Reeves. Hello. Hey, wait, how do you know my name? Not feeling too well today, Jacob. I can't say I am. Who the hell are you? Don't you recognize me? No, I have no memories of life before all this. You understand you are traumatized, yes? I... Really, who are you? Jacob. I am your psychologist. Huh, I had a shrink? Have a shrink, sorry, why? <laughs> you must understand, Jacob. Healing can only begin after acceptance. But I can't give you that, Jacob. You must take this journey. So much lies buried beneath, more than you could ever imagine. What is this? Am I insane? No, Jacob, you are far from insane. I'm not too sure about that. I understand what it is, what it must feel like, but listen, don't trust these people. They are ghosts, mere lies. I sense you are not here to stay. Am I right, Jacob? You got that right. I need to take some sense in all this. That is a good thing, Jacob. It is the only way to heal your scars. I have kept this for you, Jacob. You will need this once you are ready to leave. A piece of a riddle. Thanks, I suppose. I wish I could help you more on your journey. Who knows, perhaps at some point I can again offer my assistance. I... Fucking hell, Shrink, you are weird. So okay, our name is Jacob. We got that now. When rain keeps falling, and wind blowing, with a cold hand, rocks the cradle of a child, preparing a new journey to the coming road of unknown. Hmm. Huh. Do you see the gold glitter? I wonder if it means something. Okay, so we got a piece of a riddle. And he said it's for when we are ready to leave. So, I don't know if that will be sometime soon. Probably not. Anyway, a big and heavy ring-shaped object. No? Nope. A red rose. Still smells fresh. Let's charm the lady. Oh, I'm not giving her this one. She could misunderstand, really? <laughs> 